Hey everybody, Angry Poncho here, doing a let's play of Metroid Prime. In the last episode we arrived at this elevator and I kind of had to cut video off pretty short, so sorry about that. But it appears this is what we were actually supposed to find. The access to Fendrana Drift. So now that is some fun shit right there, my friends. But we're not going to head to there just yet. I, I know for a fact that there's another door behind us that we haven't gone through yet. I keep finding uh, exits before I actually find what I want to do in this world, so... I say world like we're playing Mario or something, but I just I just call them that, like like Chozo Ruins and Talon Overworld and Magmore Caverns. Out, I refer to them as worlds, but I guess really they're not. They're like different areas of the same planet. So I don't know. You know what I mean when I say worlds. So no confusion there. How do we get to that door up on the? Is it up on the wall up there? It's definitely in front of us and above us. So where is it? I don't see it. Get away from me. Up there? What is it like? I don't get it. I don't see it at all. Huh. Maybe it's like in the rock face there or something. Let's see if I can find a way to get back over there. Yeah, I think we can jump down and then hop back over there. We... Avoid the lava, avoid the lava. Are we at the same height as it? It's still a little bit above us. It's like right there. Oh, wait. Is there like a path on the other side of the room that we can go up to get to that door? Ah, uh, there could be. Yeah, if you got that reference, you're good. Let's head over there to find out, huh? Oh, get out of the lava. Are you serious? Alright, here. I think you're playing nice with these guys. This me off. Just die. Stay behind the pillar. Ah, oh, I got hacks. Pillar hacks. Ah, oh, man, still, still hit me. That's not even cool. Alright, there's a door over there we came in. We want to try to get up to the top. It kind of looks like there's a path like that's up there that would lead to a door way up there. How do we get up to there though? Jump up that? Is there like a... Whatever, let's go up there and check it out. If not, then I'll feel like an idiot and we'll proceed to the Pentagon Drifts. Yeah, this doesn't look climbable to me. Let's see if we can get up there. Mm, no, it's doubtful. Maybe with enough tries I can eventually get it. But I don't want to die trying, so. Let's head back to Fen Connor Drifts. I'll meet you guys back at that elevator. Never mind. I just totally had an epiphany. So I was headed back to the elevator, and it's through that door right there. And I didn't realize this platform right there. And I'm like, well, can we get up there? It doesn't look like it. Then I thought, wait a minute, I remember something. Maybe if we scan these, we can do something with it. And I thought I remembered being able to do something in here. Let me see. If I scan all of these, does anything happen? No? Because I look at if you look, it sure looks like there's a walkway above our heads there. If that thing, if we get to that, we can definitely get up there. But, I mean, that's probably how you get to that door. It doesn't seem like we can get up there though now, because we can't jump high enough. If only there's some way we can jump twice as high, uh, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, now we are headed to Fenton Drift, so just, just straight across the bottom of this room. Through the door, and up the elevator to on the drifts, or is it up or down? Oh, it's up. Okay, I figured it would be. We are in a cavern right now. Well, 
wow, I'm amazed. My GameCube's not even clicking or anything. Which is amazing, because normally when we get to something like this, it just, like, freaks the heck out, man. Alright, where are we? We're in an ice, ice cave, it looks like. It's over here. Ice? Hmm. This ice treasure blocks the hall. It can cause a blast! Yeah, we have those. Well, that was, that was blast. Yeah, that was fun. Oh, this looks almost like Spyro right there. I don't know why, it just reminds me of Spyro the Dragon. I'll eventually do an LP of that, too. I mean, I don't know if it'll be the next one or, like, the eighth one from now, but eventually we'll hit one. Oh, check it out. Vendrana Drifts. Yeah, this is the obligatory ice level of Metroid Prime. You guys haven't noticed, almost every Nintendo game has an ice level. Or a snow level. Like a winter something or other. There's always one. That's just one of those uh, common trends in Nintendo games. Now, from what I remember this, there should be a save room somewhere near here. Generally, they put one when you first transition to a new area. Because they think that... Whoa, I hear that sound. Oh, hey, hey. What? Can I not break it? I mean, melted with extreme heat. Oh, okay, cool. Hmm. Well, I guess once we have some extreme heat, we can open that. I don't know what this is. Brittle. Traces of radion detected. Yep, missiles break radion. Alright, cool. Alright, well, what, what's the point of coming in here? The door directly above has been unlocked. Oh, thanks. Cool. I honestly didn't even know that was there. I was just scanning. I just, oh, like I should have scanned that. I'll scan the next one. There's like hundreds of them here. We're just like the ice version of Zoomers. I'm surprised this water isn't cold enough to hurt us, but... No, apparently it isn't, so... Alright. Looks like there's some birds up there or something. I saw a shadow. I don't know. Yeah, there it was. Where is it? What the heck is that? Apparently you can kill them. They don't, do, they don't really do anything. So it's over here. Does this lead to something? Yeah, here we go. Alright, I'll scan this guy now. It's a crystallite! Yeah, it's just like an ice version of a zoomer. Just shoot him with a missile to take him out. Or we can just ignore him, I mean, they're not very threatening. Wait, I heard that sound again. Is it that same pillar? Whenever you hear that sound, it means that there's a power up nearby and you need to be on the lookout. So, uh... Oh, I can't remember who told me that. I really wish I could, because I want to give props to you, man, for letting me know about that. Been drawn a shoreline. I've got so many doors there. I feel like one of those should lead to a safe room, so let's go that way. Let's go back out here. So there's a door. Is that the same pillar? I, now I gotta check. Yeah, I believe it's the same pillar we were just at. Kinda lose my sense of direction sometimes. Come on, be a safe room already. Yeah, alright. How about that? Great. Alright, well. I will put an annotation up here to give me props to the guy who told me about that sound and how it can tip you off to power-ups, because honestly, I've played this game multiple times and never noticed that. But, uh, so, thank you. <laughs> I, think, I think I remember his name, but I don't want to say it wrong and, like, totally have to re-edit the video, but I believe it was Either Sword. So thank you very much, man. I'll put some props to you up here on this video. And, uh, I'll see the rest of you guys next time on Let's Play Metroid Prime.